it solves finding of data, it shows you quality of data, it enables interaction of teams. A data engineer may have several problems around data sources he don't know, right? Um, one is to, to get an overview about what's around, maybe also to, to answer questions about his own data sources. And um, Agora kind of solves both. It gives you an overview of what's around. Um, the, the only thing you need to do is to integrate it to make the data sources visible in Agora. And um, then you have a good place to, to figure out what is outside of your domain, um, what data you have to work next in the next project, or also to, to explain to, to uh, your colleagues uh, in another team what data you have and, and what they can expect from them. There are multiple challenges and of course you have this, um, this self-service. That's one of the challenges because everybody at a certain point uh, in, in time wants to have kind of a self-service of, um, for example, Kafka. So because it's very annoying to um, just doing all these steps manually. Um, so that's one challenge. Another challenge is to really think or get an organization towards this point that they think of data as a product so that it's the value is pulled by the data and that, that means also okay that this kind of cell service should be in place already it needs to um, have certain organizational um, um, methods applied to the team the visibility of data, so every data is kind of like if you are doing online shopping, everything is kind of like a catalog, you know, who's the owner of the specific data and um, what does the data look like. So you have a clear overview of um, well, how the data looks like because in some aspects that's not really, really clear. I think there are different points in the life of a data engineer. That, that we are touching and that where we are helping this person to, to, to have more peace of mind or uh, more trust in what they're doing. I think the hardest thing for a data engineer is to understand if they get to a new data set, to understand how good that data set is, how well is it um, able to solve the problems they need, how much time does he invest or she invest to, to, to get it to that level where uh, it can actually be used. And uh, it, it's kind of similar to the way um, that, that people are working with open source software. Essentially, if you are looking at an open source software, what you have to understand is um, what problem does it solve, how well is it maintained, and, and, and um, how good is the software. So if you're looking for a software module that solves a problem in your software, you go to GitHub or whatever, and you, you, you search for it and you're, you're diving into, into these different repositories to understand how well these things suit. And the same applies to data. So we are far ahead in the software whole development thing, um, but we have not yet applied all these principles that we have learned from software development to data. And this is essentially what we're doing. So we're applying these patterns to data, make it more human, make it more intuitively understandable. And it's, it's, it's far more complex for data because data um, can essentially express anything. So what we really did is to strip out the features to the most important one, to something very easy to use and uh, with a lot of possibilities, especially with the books. I mean, what you can do, you should try it.